Griselda Blanco once ruled the cocaine industry with an iron fist, but what does her son think about Netflix turning her story legend into myth? The Netflix limited series Griselda has proven to be a blockbuster hit for the streaming platform. Released in January 2024, the show stars modern family actress Sofia Vergara as the real-life figure Griselda Blanco, aka The Black Widow. Blanco was a Colombian cocaine trafficker who was believed to have been responsible for the deaths of more than 200 people as she built her empire during the 1970s and 80s. The show, which topped the Netflix charts, was the most viewed content on the planet following its release, with the platform subscribers collectively spending more than 100 million hours with Griselda. Critics have praised Vergara's performance, as well as the slick production values and convincing portrayal of the period in which Griselda committed her crimes. But while the stylish retelling of the life of one of Colombia's most notorious drug traffickers has found a devoted following among Netflix viewers, others have mixed feelings about the hit show. Chief among those who have been critical is Blanco's only surviving son, Michael Corleone Blanco. In recent years, Michael has been open to discussing his family's story through various media outlets. While Blanco's incredible story is now in the public record, he's also protective when it comes to ensuring his mother's life is retold accurately. Michael was certainly not impressed by the way Netflix's Griselda portrayed how his mother made her first steps into the drug trade. In the first episode of the series, the mother of three is shown escaping from her husband in Colombia and relocating with her three sons to Miami. There, she attempts to locate a buyer for a kilo of cocaine that she has smuggled into the United States. However, Michael takes issue with this version of his mother's story, claiming that it makes her look like she was just starting out at the time, when, in fact, she was already a queenpin of the drug trade. As he noted on the podcast, The Real Griselda, the story was not entirely accurate. Quite embarrassing. <laughs> the lady was the number one cocaine distributor of the world by 1975. Despite Michael's reservations about Griselda, it is arguable that the show actually makes a point of portraying her as a pioneer, with one trailer going so far as to euphemistically describe her as an innovator in her field. Michael also claims that there are several other plot points in Griselda that are based on commonly held myths about his mother, rather than historical fact. For example, he claims that Griselda's relationship with Alberto Bravo, who is portrayed as her initial love interest in the show, isn't quite accurate. Michael says that his mother told him that Bravo was never her romantic partner, but that the pair were best friends, who got married for the sake of getting U.S. citizenship for Griselda and her sons. The show also perpetuates the common story that, after Griselda and Bravo's relationship broke down, she killed him in a shootout. However attractive such a story might be to viewers of a limited series, Michael insists it's a fabrication. Despite all this, Michael admits that seeing the story of his mother and family on screen was an experience he found deeply moving. I'm not going to lie to y'all, it was very emotional. It was a point that you find, I found myself gasping for air. Michael is also aware, however, that his mother's life is now the stuff of myth and explains this is the reason he feels it must be told well. I think the story, uh deserved a little more. There are indeed aspects of the show that Michael appreciates, noting in particular how it portrays Griselda Blanco's children as being at the center of her life, whatever the obstacles she faced at any particular moment. Like the fact that they touch upon it or they try to humanize the character and that, that was nice. That said, Michael's comments come after he took legal action against the makers of the show for uncredited use of material he says he supplied them and for using his family's likeness without proper permission. 